morning. Uh, this is Udumbarak, my pottery that I started in 19... Well, I came here in this address in 1997. I was gonna say 1967, but that's too far. So I'm making uh, bowls, porridge, my version of a traditional Finnish, uh, traditional Finnish porridge bowl. Okay, let's go. My arva bowls, porridge bowls, traditional Finnish. Well, it's my version of the traditional Finnish bowl. Uh, arva, and there was uh, this man called Arva Kankare, and he had a brick factory, and he taught me how to use this clay. Okay. So that's why I call this al arva bowl. I call my porridge bowls arva bowls, and then. Arvo also means value in Finnish, so it's, it's a nice the clay that I, has been used already. Just I just go it, I go through the machine a couple of times. So this machine is called Pagmil, but my students call it the sausage machine. <laughs> So for arva bowls now that I'm making right now, I use 500 grams. I have no idea what that is in pound cheese. And this material shrinks much more than uh, industrially made clay. So I wedge my clay like this, so I get a spiral there. And when I put it on the wheel, I put it like this. Mm -hmm. So the clay already has some, the small clay particles already go a little bit round there. But that will help it not to uh, break yeah. while it's drying. That people did, but I, I'm really bad. I don't know when it was. Kampa Keramika, it's called in Finnish. But it's, you know, that time in China they were all already producing fine. China and mm. we, we did very primitive. I think it's quite fun to do the same product over and over again. So usually when I make pots, I don't open them like this. But when I make a big punch of porridge, you remember when I tell you always that they have, the walls have to be in? Yeah. But now when I make this, and many of them, so I go straight like this. These are my student work, and these are the ones I made last night. These ones. So you stay here for the whole night to make it? No, I have to because the customer wants to have different size, so I made it. Oh no. But it's this is the fa uh, the wheel is the fastest part, so that was no problem. And usually I make a, a bunch before I start making a production because it takes time for my hands to remember. Yeah. yeah. How to do it, and these are. There's no problem. I like doing it. I'm, I, it takes more time to wedge the clay and make the clay and yeah. then trimming and polishing and so no problem. And then I do this. Because there's a lot of people working in different game companies in Helsinki now and Google and whatever.
So now you can trim and put the staff for Johanna. Yes, uh, the Christmas for them for Christmas. If I just find all my stamps, wait. You know where it is? Where are my stamps? So I always put a number on my pots for my friend, so I have her stamp there. And then I have Udumbara stamp. And then I have my book. This is my mark. And this year I have made 648 pot sculptures and flower pots. Wait, wait, wait. I can put it there. Is it better like that? So after shooting, we go for something to eat. Yeah. Right now. And this is called Gastro Cafe. It's, it's my go-to lunch place in Helsinki. Okay, so your favorite lunch place. Yeah, and they have usually like three different things you can choose from. And it's actually, they started just maybe three, four years ago. Okay. And it's a, it's now considered one of the 50 best restaurants in Helsinki. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. And, and the cook is from the same village that my father is from. Okay, so Isami. Isami, yes. And, uh, and they have this Julia Baker who is making incredibly good bread. Okay, awesome. Let's see what we have over there. Yeah, they... So here's the place. I always you know, Let's go. So duck egg carbonara, that's what we have there. Are you ready? I'm so lucky. Oh, let's go for that. It's a dangerous neighborhood I live in. <laughs> Thank you for visiting Ulumbara and thank you Hui for making this video. Please, if you want, uh, subscribe and uh, like our videos. We will make more content. Bye bye!